You know, I think the literature for doing RFA for thyroid cancer is a little more up in the air. I think if you'd asked me a couple years ago, I think I would have been more enthusiastic about using RFA for primary thyroid cancer than I am now. Mm -hmm. And so it's like anything with the new technology, you know, the key is to, for patients, is to see someone who is very familiar with, with what's going on now and what's coming on down the road. So I think there's going to be horizon for other, for other aspects in thyroid nodules. You know, I was actually part of the one study that showed using it for recurrent thyroid cancer and lymph nodes. It has not widely gained any use for that. Um, I think it's going to turn out to be as effective as, as surgery in that setting. And I think that as more people do RFA and people get more experience doing it, I think that's one area that will come up. Now, that's a pretty select patient population, you know, people who've had thyroid cancer and then have recurrence in their lymph nodes. But I think, you know, if I'm talking about going through a second or third surgery for my thyroid cancer and I can have a, a good or equal outcome with RFA, sign me up.